In this video, I wanna talk about the documents you need to sell a property in Mexico. I'll also leave the checklist in the description if you wanna read it. Now, I typically like to have all these documents ready before I list a property, so simply because it'll expedite it once you sell it. First thing you'll need is just your ID, it could be a passport, it could be any other government issued ID. Second is your RFC. If, you're, if you don't have that already, I highly recommend getting one. It's gonna help you with your capital gains taxes. Next is your CURP. Having this in place and having everything match is very important. Some notaries are stricter than others, and that's the same with all these documents. It's very important to have the same name as all of them. Next is your marital status. Obviously, if you're single, you probably won't have a document that states it, but um, if you're married, we do need to have that information. And next is your spousal documentation. Obviously, if you're single, you won't have it, but if you're married, you will. Next is your proof of residency. Now, this is your residency outside of the property you're selling. Could you be your property back home or your property if you have one in Mexico? Next is your public deed or your escritura. Some people will not have this document till months after their property is delivered, but make sure you have that in place is very important. As next is your current property tax payment. Just make sure we have that also helps out. Next is a certificate to make sure there are no liens on the property. And next is the commercial agency agreement. This doesn't apply to most people, but we always have that on the list just in case it applies to you. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.